It is midnight in the dungeon deep in the castle of the great King Sherbert. Here lies Marlin, the evil Kane Dracon, banished from everyone who lives in the land of Cain. Banished because he kidnapped the little Cain fairy. Banished because he tried to steal all the candy canes from the sweet red forest. And banished by Otis, the most powerful Cain Dracon, until the end of time. There he lies, hour by hour, day by day, and year by year, all alone plotting his revenge on everyone who lives in the land of Cain. His only hope lies upon an evil Cain spirit who can break the chains that bind him to this dark and lonely existence. For when the moon goes full and the clock strikes twelve, the spirit comes alive and wreaks his havoc on all who live in the land of Cain. So every night Marlin cries out to the spirit, hoping he will appear, hoping this will be the night he will be set free, and hoping he will carry out his revenge on all who live in the land of Cain. Spirit, spirit, come to me. Tell me what to do. Good evening, Marlin. It is I, the evil Cain spirit, here to give you this message. You will remain here in this dungeon until I wake up my faithful servant, Rip, who has been sleeping for many, many years. <laughs> He will free you from your despair. Together, both of you will turn the sweet red forest into the dark black forest and send all of the candy canes to the deep dark world of Halloween. Never again will the children all around the world receive any candy canes from the sweet red forest at Christmas time ever again. Never again will Santa Claus visit the land of Cain. Now and shall ever be these Candy canes will belong to the dark world of Halloween forever. <laughs> yes! Yes, forever! After the evil cane spirit appeared to Marlin, he jumped into the magic green man and traveled to a cemetery deep in the dark world of Halloween. It is here he awakens one of the most notorious characters ever to walk in a Halloween night. The time has come for you to rise. The time has come for you to walk once again in a Halloween night. I command you to rise. Rise up now, you will rise. Rise, Rip, rise. <laughs> Master, master, I am your servant. Tell me what you want me to do. You will awaken your creatures. You will awaken your powers. And once again, you will awaken your dark, dark spirit and travel through the magic cane bowl to the land of Cain. It is here you will set Marlin free. And together, you will turn the sweet red forest into the dark black forest and send all of the candy canes to the deep dark world of Halloween. <laughs> yes, master! Yes! I will set Marlin free! And together we will send all the candy canes to the deep dark world of Halloween! After the evil cane spirit left the cemetery, Rip quickly awakened Boog, his longtime friend who is strong and willing to do anything Rip commands. He then went to the grave of Melvin the Mummy and awakened this creature who does not speak but has the ability to wrap up anyone or anything when commanded to do so. Next was Mooby, a strong creature who will guard anyone when commanded and will do exactly what he is told without hesitation. Finally, with his power, Rip creates the Pumpinions from all of the pumpkins in the cemetery. Guided by moonlight, all of these creatures awakened by Rip will soon turn the land of Cain and the sweet red forest into the deep dark black world of Halloween. We will travel through the magic cable to the land of Cain. Guided by moonlight, we will free Marlin and turn this bright world into a dark world of Halloween. So together they all travel through the magic cane and ride quickly in the land of Cain. In a matter of moments, Rip turns sunlight into moonlight and the Pumpinions turn all of the red candy canes black, immediately sending them through the magic cane bow back to the cemetery and the dark world of Halloween. Rip then addressed everyone and gave them their orders. The Pumpinions will continue to send all the candy canes back to the cemetery. The rest of you will come with me to free Marlin. When we get to the dungeon, Elvin the Mummy will wrap up the guards and I will open the door and free Marlin. Then we will throw the guards in the dungeon and Mooby will stay good. After this, we will wrap up everyone in the land of Cain and put them in the dungeon forever. How are we going to do that? With my power, I will create a truck for you to drive. The mummy will wrap everyone up and 
you will place them on the truck and drive them straight to the dungeon. Mooby will then open the door and everyone will be placed in the dungeon. He will then lock the door and stand good. We will forever take the candy canes to the world of Halloween. Never again will these tasty treats be for Christmas, but will remain in the dark world of Halloween. So they all ventured to the dungeon and quickly Melvin and Mummy wrapped up Tibby and Toby. Rip then opened the cell door and freed Marlin. Boog immediately picked out Tibby and Toby and placed them in the dungeon. Rip then locked the door and gave Mooby a direct order. You will open this cell door only for Boog, who will be placing everyone from the land of Canaan to the dungeon. You then will lock the door and stand good. Do not open this door for anyone. And I do mean anyone. Do you understand? As you wish, Master Rip, I will do as you command. As the old bench out of the dungeon, Marlin suddenly stopped and thanked Rip. Thank you for setting me free. Now it is finally time to seek my revenge on all who live in the land of pain. My dear friend Marlin, the plan is already in action. Come and see what we are doing. I'm sure you'll be quite pleased. As Marlin gazed upon the land of Cain, he addressed Rip with total amazement. You have turned the land of Cain into the dark black forest, just as the evil Cain spirit wanted. He will be quite pleased. Finally, at last, I will control all of the candy canes forever. Yes, Marlin, forever. Now the plan is in full swing. Melvin and Mummy is wrapping everyone up. Boog is loading them on a truck and driving them to the dungeon, and Mooby is locking the cell door and guarding him without hesitation. The dark black forest is now harvesting candy canes for Halloween. Never again will the sweet red forest harvest candy canes for Santa at Christmas time. Never again will Santa and Bobo bring candy canes to children all around the world on Christmas Eve. Suddenly, Prince Willow was flying over the land of Cain on the way to see his Uncle King Sherbert and noticed something quite strange. Why is the land of Cain so dark? What is going on? I must go back to my father and tell him what happened to his brother's kingdom. Prince Willow immediately turned around and flew back to his kingdom to the Valley of the Trees and told his father, King Morgan, all about what was happening to his brother's kingdom. Father, there is something strange happening to the land of Cain. The candy canes are all black and white, not red and white. Also, it is so dark there, the only light is coming from a full moon. What are we going to do? Indeed, my son, there must be something terribly wrong. I will ask the old man of Stowe what might have happened. He might be able to tell us what to do. So quickly, King Morgan and Prince Willow approached the old man of stone and asked him what could have happened. Old man of stone, you have infinite wisdom and knowledge. I ask you, why did the land of Cain plunge into darkness, guided by the moonlight? This can only mean one thing. At the stroke of midnight, when the moon goes full, darkness will fall upon the land of Cain. It really happens, but this is the only reason darkness will fall upon this precious land. Who can cast such darkness? For this darkness can only be cast by the evil Cain spirit. Your friends are in great danger. Don't worry, Father. I will save them. So quickly, Prince Willow flew through the air and ventured on to the land of Cain and reached his uncle's castle. There he tried to call out to the king. King Sherbert, it is I, your nephew Willow. Where are you? Hello? Hello? Prince Willow called and called, but no one was there. He knew something was wrong. He immediately took a secret passageway to the bottom of the castle and witnessed everyone in the dungeon. He soon realized Marlin was released and something was indeed so wrong. He knows he must save everyone from this terrible darkness, but how? How is he going to do this? Suddenly, he got an idea. I must deliver the magic sugar cane to Otis, the most powerful cane dracon in the land of Cain, and he will be able to save everyone from this horrible darkness. So Willow quickly snuck by every one and went into the Grand Kangerkorn tree, grabbed the magic sugar cane, and returned to his secret passageway to the bottom of the castle. He pulled a brick in the wall towards him and noticed the guard was sleeping. Now he was able to talk to Otis. In a whisper, he called out to Otis with tension in his voice. Otis! Otis, it's me, Prince Willow. Hello, my dear child. What are you doing here? I have your magic sugar cane with me, but I see you are wrapped up. Do you want it? Of course, my dear child. Of course. Just touch me with the cane and I will be free immediately. So Willow touched Otis with his magic sugar cane and immediately he was free. Otis then grabbed the magic sugar cane and struck the ground. Instantly, the land of cane was restored to the way it was. It was then Otis approached Marlin. Hello, Otis. We meet again. Yes, Marlin. We meet again. You have brought your evil to this precious land once again and I will have no more. I banish you to the dark world of Halloween, never again to return to the land of Cain, 
Goodbye, Marlin. After Otis was done speaking, he raised his magic sugar cane in the air and struck Marlin, banishing him to the deep dark world of Halloween forever. Never again will he be able to wreak havoc on anyone in the land of Cain. Never again will he be able to plot his revenge. He is gone and the work once again begins harvesting candy canes from the sweet red forest for Santa and children all around the world at Christmas time. So Bobo, Morris, and Little Cane Fairy can now rejoice and make this Christmas the biggest and brightest harvest the sweet red forest has ever seen. But the world should know Marlin will be seen again. He will live in the darkness of Halloween and Sen. His message through a full moon and night. When the clock strikes twelve, he will be in your sight. Thank you.